Hi, hello everyone. My name is Zeeshan and in this video we will see how to write the custom uh, validator in ADF uh, on a JSF page. And there is sometimes use case uh, when you want to validate the values uh, from the database table instead of uh, some uh, providing a list of values which is the much better way to validate values if but uh, there are some special use case so I will cover the one use case here where we have to val validate the values of employee ID and name from the database table without providing the LOVs for this there are different variations to do this uh, task but uh, I will cover using the custom JSF validator so first to verify what is the actual use case if I put the wrong employee ID and press submit I will get a message that employee ID is not valid instead if I provide the valid employee ID which is from employee table I don't get any error messages same I'm using different approach for the name if I put some wrong name and press submit I will get error and if I press some name which uh, enter some name which is exist in the table I will get no error messages so how to build this example I will cover in detail there is a model project and in model project I have a view object which is employee view object uh, if you notice I'm using two things here like employee ID and name and for both I'm using different approach to validate so first one is the employee ID and for this what I did is I create a bind variable which is of a number type and a view criteria which is using that bind variable employee ID equal to bind variable you can see that if I'm going too quick you can pause the video and check out uh, then what you have to do is to create a Java class of the employee view object and for this Java tabs you will take this box and include bind variables uh, which, and after, after when you press OK what happens you will get this Java class and you can use that in some other areas after that we'll go uh, to the application module and write a custom method in for for this also you have to create a Java classes first you will go create a application module impl class and in the application impl Java I created a two methods one for employee name and one to validate employee ID let's go to the ID part I created object of the employees view impl class and get employee impulse which is actually the view object name here and the class name after that I set the view criteria name which I want to use which I created declaratively after that I assigned the value to the bind variable for the method input here executes the query and if the row count is more than zero I'm returning the true means the data exists which we passed this employee ID and written false if the row count is zero or below same goes for the validate my user in this method I'm using the where clause approach and I did that to create an object of employee view impl then set where clause heart and using a, a bind variable at the runtime then I say define name where, where clause param this will define this bind variable and then I'm assigning value to this bind variable and uh, executes query remove this runtime uh, where clause from the uh, from the view object and checking same if it's returns true or false after that we need to expose this method on the client interface in the application module so our JSF page can use these both next we'll go to the uh, unbounded task flow or anyone where, where you want to create your page 
In this page, I created two input fields which are not bind to any model layer. But in if you go to the binding section, I just created two method bindings here, which is one we you can see these methods available here because we expose these to the client interface in the application module. So I created a two input fields, ID and name. And to create a validator, we need to create a Java class in the view project. And you can see I created a two Java class. And your Java class, which is which will act as a validator, must use the validate uh, implements the validator interface, which is coming from this Java X dot faces validator. You must override the validate method to and whatever this method will do you must throw a exception called validator exception if you want to fail that validation so what I'm doing here is I create another method I'm calling the bindings uh, I'm executing that method passing that parameter to that method and I'm returning true false of that method written and I'm checking that value of that method returns false then I will go throw this validator exception with the method same I'm doing with this employee name validator which I created another one and these both are available in the manage bean section of this you can see as a request these both beans are defined as a request scope we'll go ahead on the view page and there is a property of every field called validator and i linked these to the beans available in the page and you can see this validate method are linked together we'll run the page submit button it's just a button which actually is a command button and there is nothing there it's automatically submits the page so you saw this example if, if feel free to comment on it if you hopefully you you will like this video thanks for watching goodbye